You need to define your purpose. What is your purpose in life? Man, you could be great, but you haven't even pulled a strip off to activate it, right? Like you can be great, but you're living on reserve, right? You didn't, you didn't empty the bucket, right? You didn't give everything you had to every aspect of your life. There's always someone who don't believe in your vision. They don't matter. You know, it could be parents, it could be your closest friends. They don't matter. All that matters is what you believe, what you think of yourself. So you gotta create your own story. You gotta create your own vision. You gotta create your own plan, and then you gotta be the boss. We are the boss of our own lives, our own destiny, everything. Never let a situation or circumstance define your life, no matter what it may be. But you got something inside of you that's greater than a situation or a circumstance, but you have to constantly believe it and not only believe it, you have to make decisions and choices every single day to put you a step forward toward what you believe your destiny is. And so me, once I tapped into my purpose, of once I thought it was football, Right. But when I started speaking, I'll never forget the day I got the exact same feeling backstage that I used to get before I ran out on the field to play football. And that's when I knew, like, this is my purpose. This is what I've been put here to do. And so the opposition, adversity, the challenges is just a part of the process. It's going to make me a better person. But my purpose, I can't let anything stop or detour me from tapping into that every single day, that thing that not only feels right, that thing that when you do it, it impacts the lives of other people. And so I think when you look at it and you assess the situation or whatever you're doing, I think on the other end of purpose, you have to look at it and count the cost and say, is what I'm doing helping people, right? And I think when you view it that way and you can see it visibly, I think then you know you're in line with your purpose. Making excuses is just another reason um, why you're not going to succeed. You know, it's it's not it's not okay to make an excuse because you know I've got not enough time. I've not there's not enough hours in the day to this. I don't like this food. I don't like this. It's we shouldn't be saying that's okay to make those type of excuses. It's let's not make the excuses. Just move on and get on and, and do better for ourselves. I'd hate to just get to the age of like 80 or 90 years old or 100 and just turn back and just think that I've wasted time. I think a lot of people should try and hold themselves a bit more accountable. I think um, self-improvement and self-worth, you'd feel so much better if you just kind of held yourself accountable a lot more in life. If you find your passion in anything, you know, it could be baking, it could be drawing, writing, whatever. It's find that passion and just don't let it go. They said my journey ended. They said, you done really well, but you see the guy you're facing, he's probably gonna win the ABAs. You can't beat him. He's, he's represented England. They started to share his resume with me. I did not care. I just looked at him and after they said, yeah, you know, you're doing well, come back next year. You're going to do better next year, but this guy is going to stop you. I just said, he's never met me. He's never been in the ring with me. And he's going to soon find out. That's all I said to him. He ain't met me. And these guys walked away. And I was smiling when I was skipping because they didn't realise they made me more determined than ever. I put on the best display of my amateur career. Do not listen to people that come and tell you that you can't do something. And my belief came from a drive that I had to go back into my earlier vision and dream of that I was someone, that, that, that I, I, I was gonna make an impact on this planet. I was here to do something. That lost thought and dream I bought into it again.
just start small and you've got to like be honest with yourself right it's your choice like it's your life like no one else is going to change it so you've got to make that decision and then it's you know if you're not happy with your life and you want to change it then then do it right and and, and I don't know what that is what, what anyone else is feeling but you know if you start small and whether it's you know you, you want to get in shape like start walking start trying to create habits that are that are healthy for your, for your body and for your mind you know start walking join a gym join classes put yourself in these situations and this is where you grow right because you're putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation and my uncomfortable situation is completely different to someone else's uncomfortable situation and you know you could say that a million times over um, and career is like a big one right like that's the that's the that's the comfiest thing that people have is a career and money coming in because that's you know without money like the chances of being homeless and not being able to pay for food for your kids and your family like that's that's the biggest fear right um, and I can't tell anyone to, to change that you know you just got to ask yourself whether that's something that you want to change. Never let a situation or circumstance define your life, no matter what it may be, right? Because you can always look at a situation and think like me, for example, I, I was the first one in my family to go to college, right? In that house, my grandparents had um, 16 children, right? Three of them graduated high school, three. So the value of education was extremely low. And when I came along and I had this dream of going to the NFL, going to college, I could have looked at my situation and said, well, man, more than half of my family didn't even graduate high school. So it's far-fetched. It's not going to happen, right? People even told me when I got to high school. And a cop asked me once, he said, man, what's your dream? I said, I'm going to go Division One. I'm going to go to college, and I'm going to go to the league. And he's like, you'll probably go to cell block D1. And I was like, man, you're making a mistake. Like, I've never met you a day in my life. And he's like, your family went to this school. Your uncles went to this school. They got an uncle in jail, right? Got an uncle in prison, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, apple don't fall too far from the tree, right? And what he was saying to me was, you'll probably repeat the same pattern that they repeated. You come from the same household, right? And I could have looked at it and made an excuse and said, I'm going to lower my standards to meet and accommodate my household, my experience, my situation, my circumstance. Or I can take my situation and my circumstance and raise my standard and say, I'm going to be an example and I'm going to triumph and I'm going to use my situation and my circumstance as my driving force and my, my fuel, right? And so never allowing a situation or circumstance to define your life and understanding that you got something inside of you that's greater than that situation or the circumstance, but you have to constantly believe it and not only believe it, you have to make decisions and choices every single day to put you a step forward toward what you believe your destiny is.